Why is the face in the mirror looking at the camera as well? I mean, I get he's looking at the camera, but his head here in the mirror should look the other way, right? Is that what is wrong with this picture, right? Hey, what's up everyone? Vortex here and welcome back to another reaction video. Guys, in today's video, we're gonna uh, watch a video that is called This Unhinged Footage Will Make You Question Everything. I'm not sure if this is a like a top five or something like that about uh, ghost videos or if it's just one video that we're gonna watch i don't really know it looks like there's more videos but i'm not sure entirely but anyway we're gonna watch this one we're gonna react see uh, if we can find anything true or real or if it's uh, all fake the last video we reacted to uh, there was a bunch of uh, all, pretty much all the videos there uh, all these ghosts that uh, were caught on camera they were all fake i hope this time we can uh, see something cool you know something real some real ghosts and i won't be able to debunk them right but anyway if you guys enjoy please like subscribe if you want to become members of my channel just press the join button and without further ado let's watch the video all right so let's start as usual with a little bit of coffee ah this is so nice this coffee all right you're about to witness some of the scariest videos that are trending right now all right let's take a look I will take a look. We've already reacted to some of uh, these videos from uh, Slapped Ham and he had quite good videos to be honest. Uh, let's say hopefully today we're gonna see something really good. What's this? Wait. A peculiar video surfaced on Instagram recently courtesy of the account The Confessionals Podcast. The footage captured in India shows a truly bizarre scene. Okay, it looks like a cloud at first. But there is something there. Something odd can be seen in the sky. A balloon? It might be a balloon, right? But I mean this let's say this one is the balloon here. But what is all this other stuff around it? The video has sparked a fervent discussion with viewers speculating on the nature of the strange phenomenon. Many are drawn to its uniqueness, a departure from the typical fare of purported UFO sightings circulating online. As the debate... I don't know, it was the weird one, honestly. Um, what can it be? Let's, let's think about it for a second. ...rages on when the question what looms the large. Does this footage offer genuine evidence of extraterrestrial activity, or are we just seeing some classic CGI trickery? I mean, yeah, if you think about it, it can be CGI. It can also be like a, some natural phenomena, but I, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below. It gets even smaller and smaller, right, until it disappears. Okay, that was a bit weird. But again, it can be CGI, so it's not that hard to to fake this one, right? Otherwise, if it's not CGI, what? How else we can explain? Like I said, maybe a balloon, but it was all that white stuff around it. Like to me, it looks like more like a, a cloud. Uh, you know that is, uh, I don't know, it's like raining, or I don't know. It was a weird one because it had this kind of uh, tail uh, going downwards. And it almost, I, I mean, I've seen this kind of cloud. Sometimes you can see this when it's raining, for example, somewhere in the distance, you can see this cloud and then you see like this type of, uh, like a tail coming down. That's basically rain, right? But this, this one was quite small, this cloud, you know, it's not like a, a full sky of, uh, of these clouds with rain. I don't know, maybe CGI or maybe it was real. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what's out there, guys? In 2015, a homeowner in San Jose, California, Bikram Singh, discovered that his home had been broken into. Some valuables were stolen and the incident left a haunting impression. Detectives suggested that the family install a home security system to protect from further incidents. Okay. Then, on May 8th of that same year, the newly installed security system captured a harrowing break-in. 
at 10.55 a.m. two unidentified men are seen entering the property. They walk around the back and enter the home via an unlocked sliding door. Okay, why would you have your sliding door unlocked when your whole backyard is completely open for everyone to come in? I don't know. After a brief search of the kitchen, they grab knives from one of the drawers. Okay. One of the men can even be seen disconnecting the phone line. Does it look fake to you guys? To me, it looks a little bit weird and fake, to be honest. Almost like they're acting and it's not real. Obviously, I'm not saying it's not real. I'm just saying their behavior seems a bit acting, you know, like when, when they pretend they're invading the house, right? Before long, the intruders hear noises coming from the upper floor of the home. They rush upstairs. The homeowner's sister-in-law, mother and their child have barricaded themselves in the bedroom after hearing the men break into the home. Okay. The intruders begin kicking the bedroom door in, attempting to get inside. Okay, maybe it's not fake. Maybe they're not acting. Inside. The women and child retreat further into the bathroom, once again locking the door. They shout that the police have been called, and this appears to be enough to scare the intruders away. Yeah, they work uh, really calm. <laughs> According to police reports, the two suspects involved in the terrifying home invasion surrendered himself to authorities on the following Wednesday morning. Why? Identified as a 17-year-old male, he willingly turned himself in to the San Jose police and underwent questioning by detectives before being placed in custody at the Santa Clara County Juvenile Hall. Fortunately, no injuries were reported during the ordeal. Reflecting on the traumatic experience, homeowner Bikram Singh expressed the lingering shock and distress caused by the invasion, emphasizing the need for security measures to protect against such incidents. No, you, sh you should just uh, lock, your, lock your doors, right? I mean, it's not that hard. They, they went in quite easily, like you should lock your doors. You have your, uh, your whole backyard is completely open for people to go in. And you keep your doors unlocked like <laughs> i don't know it's in the future stupid to me anyway let's see i, I thought this one was like a scary one but uh, there's no not, i mean yeah it's scary because uh there's no ghosts you know and uh you put the human factor in the in the mix you know it's a, a lot scarier than uh, watching something about ghosts right uh because i i, I like ghosts that uh, they don't probably don't exist the humans are capable of doing bad things, right? So it's a lot scarier, but again, I, I don't know. I mean, hopefully, let's see, hopefully next one will be, there's nothing to debate here, right? It's just two guys who broke into a house. The eerie world of old photographs never ceases to intrigue and occasionally send shivers down our spines. Okay. Recently, a particularly unsettling image surfaced on social media. Uploaded by the account Sharp A App on Facebook, the photo transports us back to 1917 Russia, featuring a. Wait, why is the face in the mirror looking at the camera as well? I mean, I get he's looking at the camera, but his head here in the mirror should look the other way, right? Is that what is wrong with this picture, right? A seemingly ordinary boy posing in his home. At first glance, it appears like any other relic from the past, a glimpse into a bygone era. 
However, closer inspection reveals oh, that's a chilling the... anomaly. Yeah, that's the thing, right? In the background, a mirror casts a haunting reflection of the boy. Yet it's not reflecting what it should be. Instead, we see the boy looking straight at the camera. When yeah, in why? In actual fact, we should only see the side of the boy's head. Exactly. Since its emergence, the spectral snapshot has ignited a frenzy of speculation. Some are quick to dismiss it as a clever manipulation. Other I mean, yeah, you can make some pictures, like new pictures, make them look old. That's not hard to do. And there's a lot of houses out there who have like this antique uh, uh, furniture and stuff in it. So it's not really that hard if you have a house like this with antique furniture and uh, wallpaper and stuff like that, you know. Uh, you can take a picture and uh, then uh, make it uh, black and white and you're good to go. Others, however, find them drawn to the mystery, contemplating the inexplicable and the realm of the supernatural. Okay, it's a, it is a weird one, to be honest. But again, it's easy to fake, right? If it's not fake and it's actually a old picture, but it, it looks like nobody did any type of research about this picture. Or at least the, the guy, he doesn't say anything about it. How old the picture is, uh, where it came from, like, and I mean, yeah, we know it's an old Russian uh, photo, but from which period did they say it is? Did they, anyone check, like, the, what is called that one, um, carbon data or something like that? where you see how old an object is, you know, and, um, but I don't know, looks, to me, it looks kind of weird <laughs> and creepy. All right, let's see what's next. Again, easy to fake that one, right? TikTok is buzzing with speculation after a chilling video <laughs> surfaced shared by user DGP2021. All right, let's see, maybe I've seen this already. Take a look. Okay. Watching that again, the glass door opens, seemingly all on its own. Then a strange looking apparition drifts by. Okay, so, I mean, it, it can be anything, right? It doesn't mean it's a ghost. It depends because, uh, I mean, the, the, the footage here doesn't really show what it's reflecting. Because it might reflect something inside the house. And if they if, if this mirror re reflects something inside the house, maybe someone walking there uh, looks like uh, it's a ghost or something, but it's not actually. If it's reflecting the outside, then yeah, it might be weird. But to me, it looks like it's reflecting mostly um, the video's viral parts of the house. The has ignited a fervor of theories, with many pointing to the paranormal as a likely culprit. I mean, a door that it opens and closes, that's easy to do. You know, you... Uh, just push the door from inside and it looks like it's open. Then with a string, you pull it back and uh, it closes, right? And then someone inside can walk uh, and it looks, it's reflecting someone inside the house, not from outside. So it looks like there's someone walking. But this is, this is actually really easy to fake this. I see no problems here. <clears throat> but what do you think? Is it nah. just a trick of the light? If so, how does the door open? Yeah, even the, the fact that the op door opens, maybe it's reflecting some lights inside the house, you know, like, nah. And maybe it's just someone who's pushing the door and then closing it back. Open all on its own. Love to hear theories on this one <laughs> in the comments down below. All right, let's see. Next one. <laughs> Big followed. This is a strange and eerie little clip uploaded by user Ramahajan41. It's after 2 a.m. when a security camera films an unsettling scene. Take a look. The woman appears panicked. Okay, but who's following her? I don't see anyone. A looking person appears at the end of the driveway. Oh yeah, actually, there is someone here, right here. It's someone. Yeah. It's clear that the woman is being followed, but by who or what? Keen-eyed viewers have noticed that the person appears to materialize out of nowhere. 
Yeah, that's true. It's a bit weird. Unless it's a glitch of camera or maybe some bad lights or something. But it's kind of weird. It looks like it appears out of nowhere, right? And why he would stand there instead of following her? Admittedly, this could... If he was like someone real, okay, like a real person, he would go and follow her. You know, he wouldn't stand there. Unless he just wants to scare her for some whatever reason, right? Could just be an anomaly caused by the low compression rate of the security camera. But it still leaves the all too real and distressed state of the woman. Whatever way you look... Why the... Why does she has a light, uh, a torch in her hand? Who the hell walks down the street with a torch in their hand? To, to what purpose? Like, was she throwing the garbage somewhere? Or what happened? I don't know. I need to know <laughs> how she got there with a torch in her hand. Like, what was the purpose of that? Look at this strange footage. It's eerie. Because that's not the phone. That's, a, that's an actual... You might think it's the torch from the phone. But that looks like an actual torch. <laughs> I don't know, weird one, really weird one. Again, it, it can be it can be anything, right? A glitch or whatever, you know, at the end of the day. So, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. A recent post on our Slaptown community Facebook group Creepy has sighting. been shivers down the spines of camping enthusiasts everywhere. Mike Collins, a member of our group, shared a bone-chilling image captured during a camping trip to Edinburgh in Kent, United Kingdom. All right. According to Mike, the photo was snapped around 3 in the morning after his family was abruptly awakened by eerie noises just outside their tent. The image, taken by a family member, reveals a... Is that a dude in a tree? Right here. A disturbing sight. A tall, ghastly-looking figure amidst the tree branches just above their campsite. In an attempt to shed more light on the unnerving encounter, Mike also shared an enhanced version of the photo, intensifying the brightness to offer a clearer view of the mysterious entity. The post quickly went viral. I mean, it can be anything again. Maybe it's someone who was trying to play a prank on them. Or maybe he wasn't trying to play a prank. Maybe it was just some creepy dude in the woods climbing on a tree. The thing is that the face and or whatever it's supposed to be a face of this dude it looks a bit weird, honestly, right? Almost looks like uh, there's a mask on, on his head. It's too round. I mean, I don't know what is this. If it's like the lights that are reflecting or just a bad camera glitch again. I mean, the quality of the picture is so shitty that I can't understand anything of what I'm seeing. I just see some, something that looks like a person in a tree. But you can't really make up what exactly that is, right? I mean, what's this here? This doesn't look like legs here, right? This part here. I don't know. This is, this is a weird one. Again, it can be anything. Even an animal. The post quickly went viral, reaching over 700,000 people in just a few days. Many viewers were disturbed by the sighting, vowing never to go camping ever again. So what do you think this is? Paradolia or something a little more sinister? I don't know. This is a weird one. Can be faked, of course, you know. Like everything in this video can be faked, okay? How exactly? I don't know. To my opinion, it's just some creepy dude who's trying to scare these people, but I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. A wild video is currently captivating Insta Dirty thunderstorms. Instagram users, courtesy of a user known as Mindu Space. This footage captures a breathtaking spectacle. Yeah, this is nice, actually. I mean, it's not nice because these are volcanoes. And yes, Whenever a, a, a volcano is erupting, all those um, smoke clouds uh, that uh, it's producing, um, because they're hot, they get in touch with uh, the cold air, I think that's how it works, and it's producing these um, um, thunderstorms and stuff like that, you know. So, But it's like a really cool uh, image, you know. I don't, I don't think I want to see this <laughs> in real life, you know. I don't want to be next to a volcano while it's erupting or something like that. But it's nice to see on camera. 
Lightning strikes illuminating an erupting volcano nestled in Achatenango, Guatemala. Yeah. It looks actually really cool. Lightning bolts repeatedly pierce the volcanic plumes. Comments on the post reflect the collective astonishment of witnessing such a rare phenomenon. Yeah. These okay. awe-inspiring occurrences are termed dirty thunderstorms owing to the collision of particles within volcanic ash clouds. Another stunning example shared by Al Jazeera shows a similar event unfolding in Indonesia. Man, this dude looks really close to the to that volcano. I don't know if I would like to to be that close, right? Volcanic lightning triggered by moist convection currents and ice production defies conventional thunderstorm dynamics. And this looks really nice, honestly. <laughs> Unlike regular thunderstorms, volcanic lightning can occur even in the absence of ice crystals within the ash cloud. Historical accounts dating back to Pliny the Younger's description of Mount Vesuvius's eruption in 79 AD provide early observations of volcanic lightning. Luigi Palmieri furthered these investigations at Mount Vesuvius in the 19th century, noting the frequent presence of lightning during eruptions. The enduring fascination with this natural wonder continues to captivate <clears throat> audiences worldwide. Indeed, experiencing such a phenomenon firsthand would undoubtedly leave a lasting impression. Again, it's nice and cool, but I, I don't think I would like to be there and watch it, to be honest. Because, I don't know, you, you, you never know what to expect. Imagine if this erupts like really hard right now. You know, even though these people, they look like they're really far from the from the um, uh, from the mountain right i still think they would get in trouble and i don't think i would like to be there but anyway cool cool thing but it's not like i you know i, I would like to, to to see something better i want to see something good like really ghost and stuff like that before we take a look at a peculiar phenomena spotted in the gulf of mexico Remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. Okay. In the vast uncharted waters Mysterious light. Of okay. the Gulf of Mexico, a strange phenomenon was recently observed by a research vessel studying bioluminescence. A bright, unexplained light emanating from the ocean depths challenging the current understanding of water phenomena. This incident, shared on the Facebook page Chilling Scary, has reinvigorated interest in the study of unidentified submerged objects or USOs, especially in the context of maritime USOs. Unidentified submerged object. I didn't know that. Okay. Security and scientific. You see, you learn something new every day. I didn't know that's how they could, they're called when there's an object in the in the sea uh, that it's unidentified. If an inquiry. Around 11:45 p.m. during a routine research operation, crew members noticed an unusual light about a quarter mile off the stern of their vessel. Despite initial speculations of a sunken ship or navigational buoy, closer investigation revealed that the light had no identifiable source or physical shape detectable by the visual observation or sonar technology. This mysterious light, clearly visible from a significant distance and brighter when viewed from an angle rather than directly above, was positioned on the ocean floor at a depth of around 60 feet. Intriguingly, it didn't move with the current, indicating that it was anchored to the seabed. Okay. The research team utilized EK-80 sonar systems capable of imaging small objects and even those partially submerged in the seafloor mud, but the object producing the light remained invisible. The sighting aligns with concerns expressed by Rear Admiral Tim Galladay, a retired US Navy oceanographer. 
In a recent white paper published by the Solve Foundation, Gallaudet highlighted the lack of research in transmedium unidentified aerial phenomena (UAPs) or USOs. According to Gallaudet, these phenomena not only pose a real threat to international maritime security due to their undetected presence, but also represent a critical area for scientific research. Okay, so let's uh, let's uh, stop uh, for a second here because. I didn't say anything in a couple of minutes. <laughs> um, so what what it could be like? There's a light at the bottom of the ocean, like sixty feet down, right? What can possibly be, unless it's placed there by the by the same people who uh, took the picture, right? And they just try to create this story, uh, maybe to to scare people or to seem more interesting or for whatever other reason. I think there are there are some. Um, Maybe some creatures. I know there are some of them, some fishes that uh, create this light. They have like a light in front of them. But I think those are like really deep in the ocean. Uh, this one, 60 feet, is not that deep, to be honest. What else? Thing? Algae? Algae? Is that how you call them? I forgot the name. I, I, I mean, I don't know the name, but maybe I'm saying it wrong in English. Algae? Algae? <laughs> algae? Whatever it is. I know those can reflect light. And uh, they can create this type of lights. Um, some corals, maybe. But it depends. The corals, so usually they're like close to the uh, to like uh, island, you know. And uh, but some of them they can create this kind of lights. Or some, I don't know, UFO. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. Gallaudet's report calls for these underwater anomalies to be elevated to national ocean research priorities, given their potential impact on maritime security and the opportunities they present for advancing our standing of the marine environment. He pointed out the strategic disadvantage posed by our relative ignorance about the global ocean, emphasizing the need for increased study and transparency regarding these underwater objects. The recent Gulf of Mexico incident adds to a growing list of similar unexplained underwater phenomena reported worldwide. These incidents often garner significant public interest and speculation about their origins, ranging from natural underwater phenomena to more speculative sources. As global attention turns to these mysterious occurrences, the call for more robust research and exploration of our oceans becomes increasingly urgent. The deep seas hold many secrets, and phenomena like the one observed in the Gulf of Mexico are stark reminders of how much remains unknown about. That's true. That's true. We don't know that much about our oceans and uh, seas and stuff like that. A lot of the 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 underwater is not even explored. We don't even know what that what exists there, like what kind of creatures, fishes, whatever it is, right? The watery depths that cover a vast portion of our planet. Whether these lights signify a natural, undisclosed military or other phenomena, one thing is clear. The depths of our oceans are as rich in mystery as they are in life, demanding further exploration and understanding. Yeah, okay. All right, guys. So that was the video. It was an interesting one. Um, not that scary, to be honest. I think I need to watch something, something different, something more scary. This one was... Um, it wasn't that scary to be honest there was like two or three videos out of this they were just simple phenomena or stuff like that um and some of them they were easy to debunk but there were some good ones as well like the dude who was following the lady we don't know if it was like it looked to me a little bit like he appeared out of nowhere and if he was like a real person why he would stand there watching her you know, rather than following her the the, the kid in the picture as well the Russian old photo, that was creepy as well. I don't know how um, you can fake that one, but it looked kind of weird. And yeah, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> let me guys, uh, let me know what you guys think. Like, do you think these are fake, are real? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> leave in the comment section some uh, some answers for me, uh, like you always do. And thank you guys so much for watching my videos um, and for interacting and. Uh, leaving some comments. I always appreciate this kind of stuff, you know, so, you know, just let me know whatever you want to think or ask you or if you want to suggest some videos, just uh, let me know in the comment sections what videos uh, do you want me to, to react to. 
especially horror videos, you know, like uh, ghosts and stuff like that. That's what I would like to react. But uh, who knows? I might consider some something else as well if I think it's uh, interesting, right? Anyway, guys, uh, again, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. If you want to become members of my channel, just press the join button and I will see you in the next one. Bye.